Okay, so I'm down here this afternoon in the garden checking on the tomato hornworm damage. See, they've gotten some of them. I've been spraying. Also, I had been looking for the eggs, which, let's see if I can find this one right here. Little lime green dot. That is the egg that the sphinx or hummingbird moth will lay. Here it is. I just got a bucket of bleach water here. That's what I'm throwing them in right now. But I have been checking them. I've actually gotten about five of those eggs tonight. I'm trying to keep up on it. They started last week really hitting it hard, so I spray with an organic compound called BT, and it's just for caterpillars, but it won't harm any animals if they happen to eat the caterpillar. So I just go along, mostly along the, the uh, top leaves, just searching for those little dots. This little plant, actually, I thought was going to die, but it's struggling back. I really don't want that one to get damaged. I found one on this one earlier. But, oh, there's another one right there. Get that. Oh, maybe that's just a spot on the leaf. Oh, no, it's not. They lay them on the very, mostly on the top layer of leaves. I haven't seen them go too much on these Roma tomatoes, so that must be, might be an option. Those two are early girls. I said I just kind of go over them real quick, and especially on the top leaves, seeing if I can find any of those egg. Get them off there before they hatch. This is another Roma that I think she's done for. And it's amazing that they get the same water, same sunlight, same everything, and one does good and the other one doesn't. Always good to plant at least two of each variety you're trying to grow just so you don't get nothing out of them. Peppers are also another nightshade that the moths and worms will get in. Something else has been eating this. Do have a few peppers down on there. Those are called a culapino. They're jalapenos without the heat. Sweet banana pepper. I've gone over these once before, but see if I can sometimes I miss them because those little caterpillars can decimate a plant really quick. I think I got all of them I can get to right now. Got some curling because it's been so hot. It's a plant just trying to protect itself from the heat. There's a cherry tomato. Of course, I always put the tags down on the ground, and then it overgrows it. But like this one right here is ripe. The orange one. So those ones are good. After I spray that stuff on it, I do wash them before I eat them off these plants right now. I don't see any more eggs <clears throat> visible. Like I said, I think I got five or six off tonight. This will help a lot. And I sprayed this morning. So hopefully we can keep those little buggers under control. Last year I had a problem with aphids in my corn. I don't see any coming in right now. Just, just harvested a Big zucchini off this one. There's another one growing there. 
should have thinned out my corn a little bit, but as windy as it gets, I like it to have support with itself. So the tassels are coming out. They should get mm, plant them close together. I did have a third row, and I think the chipmunks and rats and stuff got my seed. Plant two or three rows so the wind can fertilize it as it blows back and forth. Then we have this crazy volunteer sunflower. I think there's eight that have bloomed, eight or nine that have bloomed so far. And there's blossoms all over. This one actually has three. Another one over there. Some of these heads down here have three per stalk. I don't even know what variety this is. It is growing in my blackberries. <clears throat> this one seems to be doing well in the shade. I might cut some of these lower branches back because I have another blackberry in there. I guess there is a little bit of new growth coming on it. Oh, that's the same one. This one. Did get some blossoms, but none of my other two did blossom. Here's my other one. This one's directly underneath there, but there is a little bit of new growth coming. I can lop off some of those lower branches of the sunflower. But even those ones are creating blossoms. It'll be interesting to see how many this goes. You shy? You're not opening all your petals? The other one went by. I'll feed that to the chickens later. It was very good. Celery. Pulled out the uh, cabbage that the mice got to. Time to harvest the cauliflower. No idea what this random weed is. I do see, I did plant a pollinator in there. This is an ash tree that's growing. No idea where that seed came from. I'll get that transplanted somewhere else. This is a zucchini and a handful of peas and a tomato. Strawberries never make it into the house. A bunch of cucumbers growing in my barrel. Were just left over from the packet where I tried to. Oh, these are the ones I picked yesterday. There's another squash plant there. Watermelons along here. That's a cantaloupe. That's a pickling cucumber. A couple pollinating flowers in there. <coughs> Roses. This is the second round of flowers for this plant. Very pretty. Some, I believe this is basil that has come up. More cucumbers. This plant has exploded. Another cucumber. This says it was supposed to be echinacea. Not too sure about that. And then this looks like another cucumber. We'll see. It's going crazy though. Trying to get it to uh, train it to come over here and trellis up. I did not plant that one there either. Other than that, I got things have finally taken off. It took a long time. Potatoes are doing okay. These will also 
have a problem, as you can see here, this was been eaten up by those hornworms. Hopefully we can get them under control. It seems to be just that one plant for some reason. I did find a couple of eggs. See, there's one right there, actually. Egg. Don't want them to drop on the ground because they'll still hatch. So. I'm going to finish this up. Take these vegetables in. The dogs are around here somewhere. Luna! Luna! What are you getting? She's eating hay, is what she's doing. Anyway, and we got tonight's eggs. Cloudy. So good night, everybody. I'm going to go in, take care of the pups. The other critters are fed. The garden's taken care of.